I'm Benny Prasad and I hold the world record for being the fastest to travel to every nation. Welcome to my 32nd episode of my World Travel Stories. And today, I will share about my experiences during my first trip to Egypt in the year 2003. As an artist, it's so easy to perform passionately and give our best when you have a big platform with a big audience. For example, when I performed at the Liberty University in the USA or at the PAX Stadium at the Hyderabad Festival with Franklin Graham, it was so easy to give my best. The real challenge comes is how will an artist respond to a smaller audience on a simple platform? The lesson I learned in Egypt in 2003 has been a lesson for a lifetime. I departed Mumbai on the 19th of February 2003 on Kuwait Airways via Kuwait en route to Alexandria in Egypt. After one hour since we departed from Kuwait, the pilot announced that there was a sandstorm in Alexandria and they rerouted the flight to Cairo. Remember, these were my early days of my travels with very little experience. Once we landed in Cairo, we cleared customs and we were told to wait in a particular place. After a few hours with no communication from the airlines, the passengers got frustrated and got into a physical fight with the ground staff. Finally, we were all taken to a restaurant at the airport and dinner was served. At about 10 p.m., they put us on a bus that took us to Alexandria. I did not have a cell phone and thankfully there was Wi-Fi at the Cairo airport and I could email Judah, who was my host, about the situation and gave him the approximate time of my arrival. I was nervous as I was not sure if Judah would have read the email. We arrived at 3 a.m. and Judah was there to receive me. The next day onwards, Judah organized places for me to perform and minister. As I ministered in a few house fellowships and churches in Alexandria, the news spread to Cairo about my testimony and music. I got an email from Charlie, a Lebanese business owner, asking if I will come and speak to the youth fellowship in Cairo. I immediately said yes, and Judah was gracious to accompany me. We arrived in Cairo on the 27th of February and we took a taxi to the Mahdi Community Church. Charlie and Richard met us and they took us to a small room. Charlie apologized that many of the youths were busy and only two of them showed up. I was disappointed and was grumbling inside. Looking at the two youths and two adults, I decided not to play the guitar and just share something and walk out. Even though Charlie and Richard were so kind, I was just ignoring them. As we sat down to start the meeting, I heard Lord Jesus speaking to me, Benny, I want you to give your best performance this evening. I said, why should I even perform for such a small group, Lord? I think I'm wasting my time here. The Lord told me, don't I deserve your best? Am I not present at the meeting? That changed my perspective and I gave my best that evening. As I was performing the closing song, Pastor Dave, who was the senior pastor of the Mahdi Community Church, walked in. After the meeting, we met up in his office and he asked me if I was open to ministering at the main service of the Mahdi Community Church. This church is so unique, where about 80 different nationalities represent the congregation and God miraculously opened the door. I had an amazing time ministering at the church and we met so many people from all over the world. That evening, as I was sitting with my host Richard and Mary, I shared that in 2002, God told me that He will take me to every nation to share the good news. Today, meeting people from so many nationalities rekindled the assurance that God would take me to the nations. The next day, I got invited to speak at the prestigious Cairo American University. The doors just kept opening. One of the greatest lessons I learned in Egypt is about giving my best regardless of where I am because God is present. I'm reminded of two scriptures from the Holy Bible. Colossians 3.23 says, Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as though you were working for the Lord and not for people. 
Ephesians 6, 6 says, Don't work only while being watched as people pleasers, but as servants of Christ, do God's will from your heart. Dear friends, it's so hard to give our best when no one is watching or when we don't find worth or value from a human standard. The lesson I learned in Egypt during my first visit has been a life lesson as an artist. I've given my best, be it among five people in a house fellowship in Maldives, or a prison on Rikers Island in New York, or the opening ceremony of the Military World Games in Hyderabad. Whenever I get an invitation to perform, I never ask about the size of the venue, or the number of the audience, or even how much is the honorarium. The Egypt lesson taught me to give my best because God is present. Every time pride comes into me and I feel entitled to prominence as an artist, God reminds me of the Egypt lesson. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please go to youtube.com slash pennyprasad and there's a bell icon there. Please click on it so that every time I post a video, you will be notified. I would love to receive your comments too. Please share these videos with your friends and your family so that they can be blessed too. God bless you all.